Super excited, you know, like every time I came here, every time was uh, like the best party. Like worldwide, one of the best party I go every time. So yeah, I'm very happy. I feel the love every time I come and uh, how can I not love that? <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I remember I was playing at my club. We talked to, about that with Pablo yesterday and uh, actually the club is closed now, I think. Yeah. yeah. But it was fantastic, yeah, that was my first time in uh, Argentina. That, the first city I played in Argentina was Cordoba. Ah, you know, I don't think it's something you can choose. It's coming from the art, you know, like... I like only house music, I don't like techno. I like a lot of hip-hop, of course, I like a lot of music, like jazz, soul, funk, reggae. I like rock too, but to make, I like house music. I like the club culture. I started 93. 1993. I was 17 years old, so I, I, I was coming from the hip-hop. I was listening a lot of hip-hop and you know, the first, when you get 17, you go out in club, then you discover house music. Oh, I found it was similar to what I like with hip-hop, but you can dance faster, you can go crazy. And then I start to buy my first machine, maybe in uh, 96, yeah, in 96. And the first album of Daft Punk came out in 96, Homework. And then I was like, okay, this is what I want to do in my life. I'm just gonna do that. And it was different also back in the day. We were not, now people, when they do that, they think about being star. At my time, it was not, no star, no nothing. We were just in love with music. Then now, now it's all different. Now you have like the social media, you have like, uh, people want to be the star even if they have no quality in the music, you know, you, I can see them. See some big stars, they can't mix, they don't know how to mix. It's all automatic, computer. That's a very good question, because I organize all my life to, to keep the motivation. You know, like, I've been traveling the world for almost 20 years now, and of course, if you just go to a party, you drink, you don't sleep, you do drugs, you go with every girl, if you do that, you do five years. And then after you don't like what you do anymore. So me, no, I, I've, I've been party my first years when I was younger. I've, I've been a big party guy. But since maybe six, seven years, I don't do drugs, I just smoke weed. I, uh, I drink a little bit, but I organize my life about sleeping. I have a lot of sleep. I make sports, I eat good. And if you do that, you can keep your music uh, love for long, you know? I never listen to house. <laughs> no. I do house. I listen, okay, the promo, the music I'm going to play, of course. But I listen my, well, if you come to my car, I'm going to listen, as I told you, hip hop, jazz, funk, soul, disco, all this kind of music. But I don't really listen house. I don't listen my sets. Uh, my favorite in hip hop is Jedila, Jedila, DJ Premier, uh, Pete Rock, all the guys from the 90s actually. I'm st I don't listen so much of the new stuff. I, I keep my word, you know, listening old stuff. All the people I got on the label. Yeah, that's all my fave. Like if you want to talk back in the day of, about all my inspiration, Derek Carter as a DJ was my biggest inspiration. Also as a producer, he was amazing. Mood to Swing, uh, Kashmir, DJ Sneak, Diz as a DJ, and uh, DJ Rasul. And now all the people I got on the label, like DJ Sneak, Joss Moo, Chris Carrier, DJ Wild, you know, Mike Dunn. Mike Dunn was also a big inspiration. Pleasure. If I have to say one word, it's pleasure. It's like, I remember like if we talk about uh, Daft Punk album, when I was listening to that, I was excited. I listened to it maybe 1,000 times. And when the new album was coming up, we were buying the vinyl and we were listening and it was just pleasure, you know? Feeling good, listening. You can dance, you can laugh. I don't know, pleasure, yeah. I'm gonna keep it like this simple. Okay, okay. thanks. Cool.